On September 13th, Tommy Robinson held his rally for British pride in London. CNBC police estimated that Robinson drew about 110,000 people. From News Bites, speaking to the crowd via video link, Elon Musk said he was worried about Britain's future due to quote unquote massive uncontrolled migration. Musk warned the crowd in stark terms that native Anglos could soon be overrun by foreigners. In just 10 years, the UK, with a population of 69 million, absorbed nearly 10 million foreign arrivals. 60 years ago, England was 98.8% white. Today, that figure stands at 86%. According to the latest census, the capital city of London is just 36.8% white. Chris Stringer versus Elon Musk. Elon Musk has been on the board of the Royal Society for the Sciences since 2017. The president, Sir Adrian Smith, has been leading an effort to fire Musk. Chris Stringer is a fellow of the Royal Society. On September 12th, Chris Stringer took aim at Musk with a tweet that read like a warning shot. Of course, as regular viewers of this channel know, Chris Stringer from the London Natural History Museum is widely regarded as one of the world's top paleoanthropologists. But Stringer has skeletons of his own, some literal. In 1972, Chris Stringer and his girlfriend dropped the famed crapping in Neanderthal skull at the Croatian Museum, splitting it in two. Stringer chuckled about the accident in a recent interview here at YouTube. He explained that he and his girlfriend were just carefree hippies at the time. But they did try to glue the specimen back together. At the time, the museum director in Croatia did not see it as just a joke. Since the 1970s, Stringer's also engaged in craniological research. He blundered big time with his prediction that they would never find Neanderthal DNA in the Eurasian genome. Stringer was one of the earliest and most ardent advocates of the recent Out of Africa model, but in light of new molecular and archaeological evidence, he's had to walk that back severely. More recently, Stringer has also resisted the return of the Cowboy Skull from the London Museum to Zimbabwe. Elon Musk has a top-tier investigative team. If the Royal Society pushes him out, don't be surprised if Musk starts digging into Stringer's past and not just for fossils. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.